Hey everyone, welcome back to HGTV Handmade with us, the Crafty Lumberjacks. We are sitting on an ottoman that we got from our neighbor, but we have no use for an ottoman, but we have been looking for a new coffee table. Yes, so we are gonna be using wood veneer strips to give this an updo. Now we have no clue what's underneath. We've actually never worked with wood veneer strips. So let's just give it a shot. All right, so let's see what we're working with. We know there are screws under there. So we're gonna start unscrewing and see what happens when the wood comes off here. Yeah, these legs are in great quality. We're really lucked out with that. <laughs> yeah, she treated it well. All right. All right, the screws are off. Oh, oh that was easy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's rip this off, see what we're working with. Oh, a lot so, of staples. Yeah, a lot of staples here. The plan is to keep this wood Yes. <laughs> and add the wood veneer strips on top. So I think this is a particle board underneath here, which is perfect because uh, when you use wood veneer strips, you're usually covering something that's not solid wood so that it looks like solid wood. Jeez, <laughs> this must have been pretty expensive. This is made really well. <laughs> The bottom is not gonna look perfect, but no one's gonna see it, so we're just gonna try to clean it up as best as we can. <laughs> not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, uh, there's holes, it might need a good sanding, uh, but the wood veneer strip should fit right over these. Yeah, and they'll harden when we um, polyurethane them, so uh -huh. the holes should not be an issue. Yeah, I think we'll just sand it just to get rid of some of this glue and to make sure everything is pretty uh, level. Flat. Yeah. So now that we have our tabletop ready, we are going to cover it with wood veneer strips. Wood veneer is actual real wood. It's a thin piece of wood and they actually come with an iron-on adhesive on the back. Yeah, so all you have to do is lay it on top. Uh, we're gonna cut it, lay it on top and then iron it with a really hot iron and it should stick. Okay, we're gonna start it from the center and work our way out. We decided we wanted to do kind of a crisscross applesauce um, pattern on our table. Um, so we're gonna start with a big piece here. Yeah, and you just wanna, when you're applying your veneer strips, you just wanna apply it a little bit over your piece of wood. All right, so we have our iron set on cotton. No steam, no water inside. And we're just gonna go over it. Yep, and you could already see the adhesive starting to spread a little bit. You can check it, see if it's sticking, which it is. Andrew, maybe you can do a little more up there. Sure. All right. And then once you have the iron on and it seems like it's sticking, you wanna take a roller or something heavy and just kind of roll it out just so it really sticks and adheres to the wood. All right. Pretty good. Very nice. And we got two different color veneers, and this one is much thinner. This is a birch, just to give it a little bit of a interest. Yeah. Yep, so we're just gonna work one piece at a time. And line it up right here. The greatest thing about these wood veneer strips is that uh, they are movable. If you work with them quick enough, you can peel it off. If it's not close enough to the other veneer, you can move it, you can shift it. It has a little bit of wiggle time there. Uh, gives you some time to work with it. And we are just going right over the holes. We're not gonna worry too much about it. Again, this is just gonna be our little coffee table. So it doesn't have to be too secure, too perfect. All right, so this is going really well. We're gonna try to switch things up and uh, bring the diagonals going this way. Uh, I think for that though, we're gonna need to get some really uh, clean edges. So we're gonna cut them with a razor, just so we have like really clean lines. All right. right, so it's all done. It looks really looks good. Looks pretty good. So we just have to trim it up. We're gonna use a razor blade to cut off the excess uh, veneer strips here. And then we're gonna do the sides. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna start cutting off uh, the extra veneer. I just have a nice flat surface to hold against the board just to make sure it's nice and straight. All right, all we right. have all our edges cut. Let's take a look. Okay. You look first. Oh, it looks good. It looks really good. It looks really nice. It's mostly free. 
I know. If it's free, it's for me. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna start adding on the sides. And the way you do that is you line up the top and then the extra will be on the bottom and then you'll cut that off. All right, so now we're just gonna iron it on just like the others and then roll. If you're having trouble lining it up on the top, just uh, if your veneer isn't cut perfectly straight like this veneer isn't, don't worry because you're just gonna sand it on the top anyway, so you'll get a nice crisp line. Okay, so now we do the opposite side. All right, awesome. So now we're gonna cut um, the extra pieces just on the bottom. You wanna do this one? Sure, just the sides? Yeah, just the sides and the bottom. All right, so it is finished. I couldn't be happier. I mean, this looks incredible. It looks beautiful. It really is. So now we're gonna sand it. And from what we found out online is that you really don't need to be delicate when you're sanding. Sand with the grain, but also don't feel like it's um, like it's fragile. You really wanna make sure you get all those splinters off. And you're starting with a lower grit, right? Uh, I'm starting with 100 grit, so that is a rougher sandpaper, and then we're gonna work our way up to a finer sandpaper. And for the edges, we can go like a little bit of a diagonal just to like clean up the uh, the tips, the tips, and that line. All right, so now we're gonna go up to a 220 grit, and let's just do it again. You know what I love about this project is that this was basically our first time doing this. We did like a little test uh -huh. on another piece of wood. But I just love a project where it seems really hard. It looks like it was really hard, but you can do Fooled it on your first. You. <laughs> you can do it on your first shot. That is a winner to me. We're gonna use the same screws that we used for the ottoman uh, to use for our new coffee table, and then we just have one final step. All right, All right. the screws are on. Let's, Let's do turn it. her up. Oh my gosh! Wow. Uh, last step, we're just gonna add a couple coats of polyurethane on top. You just wanna go with the grain and not over brush. I really like how the color is changing already. Yeah. Look at that. And you could also use any type of wood stain on this. I it, can't believe it. It looks super awesome. <laughs> we're really super does. happy with the outcome. Yes. I think wood veneers might be our new favorite thing to craft with. Our new BFF? <laughs> yes. If you ever tried wood veneers, leave a comment below. Let us know what you're making. Don't forget to like, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.